Grove RT540E is a rough terrain crane and it can lift a maximum of 35 tonnes. This model of it was first made by TWH Collectibles in 2009, but this version has been commissioned directly by Drake Collectibles. This model is in the colours of Walter Wright, which is part of the Australian Macalise Group. The first difference with this version of the model is that there's no product brochure or information about the model, which is a pity. But inside the parts are the same, including the crane, extension jib and a bag of parts. The model is reeved in the factory, but the review model was re-reeved to get the hook to hang right. And the only thing to add to display the model is the extension boom. And after installing the pin to lock the telescopic section, it can be mounted on the side of the boom where it's secured by a single pin. Starting underneath there's some very nice detailing, but only the big silver rivets spoil the look a little bit. The tyres are good and they're mounted on very detailed wheels. The outrigger beams are metal and the engine enclosure has got some excellent mesh work. The cab is extremely detailed with excellent small graphics. There's a textured floor inside and also a fire extinguisher. There are hydraulic hoses running to the two winch motors. The boom has got good casting detail and the graphics are sharp. Although the collars on the intermediate sections are plastic and slightly off colour, the hoist cutoff chain adds detail, and the hook block has a slightly over large tying off point. The extension boom has a nice metal lattice, and the telescopic part is metal also. Starting underneath, the rear axle pivots, and the front axle is fixed. There is working steering on both axles, although it's quite stiff, but it will therefore hold any pose that you set. Moving out onto the Cranes Etc test track, and the Grove rolls well enough in a straight line. But a more interesting pose is to have it turning, so let's adjust the wheels. And once that's done, you can get quite a good turning circle. So it's certainly a highly manoeuvrable crane in the display case. OK, we're on site now, so let's set it up for some lifting and the outrigger beams just pull out and you can screw down the pads. And it's all strong enough to be able to hold the crane wheels free. The winch drums are a little bit awkward to operate on the crane and the rear one was certainly far too loose. But here we've left a little bit of row power and we can remove the hook from its travelling position. All that's left to do now is to raise the boom. And in fact it is a bit stiff on the review model. Well, at least with a stiff boom, you can always hold a position. Extending the telescopic sections is pretty standard, and they pull out reasonably easily. But that does show a weakness of the model, which is that the extension boom starts flapping about. And that's because it only has one pinning position. So if you don't want to use the extension boom, it's probably best to remove it completely. With all the sections telescoped out, a reasonably big model results. And by getting the tape out, we see it's 26 inches or 66 centimetres high. Let's go back down to the bottom and there's some very nice functionality. The cab has got a nice sliding door that works well. And there's also a tiny opening compartment on the engine. Moving around to the other side of the model, there's an interesting opening cover which lets you see the batteries. And best of all, you can remove the whole side panel and see some really good hydraulics detailing. After all that, let's go back up top and it's time to go large. So we'll add the extension boom on and it clips into place with a couple of pins. There's no need to remove the hook because there's a second hook provided. And to guide the rope for it, there's a little guide pulley that pulls out and just rotates into place. Once that's all done, you can then run the thread from the rear hoist drum and take it up to the boom top. You need to attach the second hook block, which is a bit fiddly because it's not a single line hook. But once it's on, you have the option to extend the extension boom, and it just gets telescoped out and pinned into position. It adds useful extra height, and the model is nearly 3 feet or 90 centimetres tall. It's now time to cause a furore on cranes, etc. And it's because we have a Doolan's heavy haulage rig, and it's coming to pick up a Walter Wright crane. Another word for this kind of realism on cranes, etc. is... joke. This model has been around for a few years, but it's still impressively detailed. And it's certainly a good looking model in the colours of Walter Wright. If you're interested in collecting a smaller rough terrain crane, then this one is highly recommended. Mm -hmm.